Good morning vlog! It has been a quick minute since I vlogged because we had all that San Diego Disney content and then I also went on that trip to LA for the awards and we're finally home and chilling only for a few days because we actually have another trip coming up very soon but we're just gonna enjoy these few days at home. We are about to head out to lunch. Last night me and Bird were really hungry and then we started brainstorming what we wanted to try for lunch and we ended up picking a spot. Let's go check it out. We got smoothies. So this one is the mango tango. It has mangoes, bananas, mango juice, and honey. And then this is the berry power, I think. And it has strawberry, strawberry blueberry. blueberry Banana? Banana, honey. <laughs> honey, something else. Some other stuff, yeah. Maybe like one more thing, I forget. Trying the mango tango. Hmm, not bad. I feel like I like our smoothie at home. Really? <laughs> it's okay. Could be stronger in mango, considering- It's called it's mango a, tango. It's called mango tango and it has mango and mango juice. Berry power. This one's not bad. Surprisingly, I do like the berry one more, even though mango is my favorite fruit. I feel like I just expected this to be more strong in mango, so that's why it was a little bit of a letdown, but I do like this one more. Yeah. My turn. Right? It's missing something. Yeah. It's not like mango-y enough. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right, let's try this one. I also feel like this one's missing something. It's good ish. It's I think it's maybe it's a little too watery. Ah, uh, not thick enough. But out of the two, which one do you like more? I actually like this one more. You like the mango one more? No. Okay, I'll take the berry one All then. Right. <laughs> and then for our food, we got a Cubano and we have a smoked salmon avocado toast. Recently, I've been not having an allergic reaction to avocado. So I think this one will be okay. We'll see. And then we also got a breakfast crunch wrap and it has these sauces on the side as well. Looks good. It does look good. It smells good. We're so hungry. <laughs> Trying the breakfast crunch wrap first. Chipotle aioli. And I think yours is just, that's a hot sauce or something. Yeah, I'll try a little bit of both. You put it right in the middle. How are you going to bite that? <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Mm. That egg is quite good. Yeah, the egg's fluffy and soft. I like the potato. Mm -hmm. The cheese is creamy. And I added some jalapenos, so it has a little kick. kick. It's like those pickled jalapenos, so it's not too spicy. Mm -hmm. How should we do this? Should we lady in the sure. travel? <laughs> no, what Why the? not? <laughs> Wait, this is so All right, ready? Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, yum. Mm -hmm. The cheese is melty, mm -hmm. goes well with the deli meat. The bread is toasted, and then you get the crunches and the flavors of the vegetables too. Yeah. Now for the smoked salmon toast. We got it on sourdough. Cheers. Mm. This is hard to mess up, I think. Yeah. So far, not having a reaction to the avocado. Mm. So I'm hoping it was just a temporary You're thing. Cured. And I'm cured now. I think it might have been stress induced because there was a lot going on at that time, but Maybe now I'm all better. Mm. How would you rank these? I like all of them. Say this one. Breakfast crunch wrap. Breakfast crunch wrap, probably one. Cubana two, and then avocado. Yeah. Well, they're not bad. Yeah, all of them are pretty good. Trader Joe's and we got a haul. 
first up we got this organic pumpkin I believe it's like a puree in here and I got this because we're gonna try to make some fall drinks so I was thinking like a pumpkin hojicha might be good or even a pumpkin matcha that also sounds good too so we're gonna recipe test some pumpkin drinks and then I also picked up the white miso paste if you guys have seen our vlog where we made the coffee this is literally a staple in birds daily coffee recipe I also like how this one comes in like a squeezable bottle and it's also a little more liquidy than like miso paste that you would buy from the Japanese supermarket so it mixes into the coffee more easily and then we got this hold the cone their seasonal flavor is pumpkin ginger which I know what you're thinking, Mei Mei, you hate ginger. But this one I've tried before, it's not too strong on the ginger. It's more pumpkin than ginger, so I don't mind it in here. And then I also saw this pumpkin spice mini she cake. I've actually never tried the mini she cakes at Trader Joe's, but I've heard that they're really good. And so I figured why not try the pumpkin spice version to get into the fall mood. And it says moist, flavorful pumpkin spice cake with cream cheese frosting. So we might do a little taste test of this later. Then I got a few bags of these spicy tempura seaweed snacks. We really really like these last time we went to trader joe's we bought like five of them or six of them and we are running low so got a refill and then i saw these norwegian sourdough rye chips and i was curious about these because i love those rye chips in like gardettos hopefully you guys know what i'm talking about and this sounded similar ish actually i kind of want to try it to see that's what it looks like it's looking a little pretty different actually because it has these like grains or something in them and it's very holy hmm okay yeah they are different from gardettos very different not similar actually at all really they're very flavorful it's actually quite salty and you get a lot of flavor from like the flax seeds and sunflower seeds it says that they pair perfectly with smoked salmon or cheese as a delicious appetizer and i do feel like this would be really good with cheese or smoked salmon or if you put like a little bit of cream cheese with a little bit of smoked salmon on top maybe some dill or red onion i feel like that'd be really good on its own though it's just okay i feel like i would like it better with the little toppings on it then i stocked up on the butternut squash mac and cheese if you guys been here a while you know this is like my favorite trader joe's item maybe of all time i don't know one of the, my favorites of all time and they only have it in the fall so every fall i have to stock up enough to help it last throughout the year and actually i just finished my last box from last year a few weeks ago so it's perfect timing so i got quite a few boxes of these and if you've never tried this before it doesn't really taste like butternut squash it more just tastes like really good mac and cheese the noodles always have like a really nice bite to them the cheese sauce is so good i don't know i always dump hella like red pepper flakes to make it a little spicy i also sometimes will add chicken and like some vegetables to make it more of like a well-rounded meal but yeah this is has a special place in my heart i'm glad we're reunited <laughs> I also picked up a carton of eggs because recently we made those Korean marinated eggs, Mayak eggs, I think is what they're called, and they were so good. So it's nice to just have some in the fridge for times when I need a quick meal or just need a small snack. So I just eat a little bit with some rice. So I got more eggs for that purpose. <laughs> and last but not least, I got this maple and sea salt kettle popcorn. Kelly told me this is good. So I bought a few bags. I'm gonna give some to my family as well. If I can open it. Maybe I have to open it this way. <laughs> I hate opening bags this way. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. Oh, this is good. Mmm. Perfectly crunchy and crispy. Has that light sweetness that kettle corn has, but even more sweet because of the maple. And then you get the hit of saltiness too, which complements it so well. Definitely would recommend. And now really quickly, I'm going to try the pumpkin spice sheet cake it looks pretty moist and it smells pumpkin-y mm, it is moist oh my gosh the cream cheese frosting is rich very creamy and the cake it's like moist and dense not really fluffy and you can taste the pumpkin spice it kind of reminds me of eating like a pumpkin cake pop because in cake pop since they mix the cake with the frosting it becomes really moist and like dense so this gives me that kind of vibe would recommend if you like pumpkin spice stuff and cake
Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, pumpkin-y, right? It's good. I like it. I wanted to try it first mm -hmm. before adding any pumpkin pie spice. I and think... decide if we need if we want to add some. Do you think it'll taste good with the hojicha? I think so. Yeah. Do you think so? I think when I was drinking this, mm -hmm. I think I expected there to be some spice. Okay, so yeah. we should add some? I think we should add some. Okay, let's yeah. add some. Got some pumpkin pie spice. Just add a little. Oh, that <laughs> might have been a little more than I <laughs> intended, but... Add a little bit of the hojicha. It's not gonna be layered because there's no ice. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Yeah. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to like think if I can pick up on all the flavors. I definitely taste the hojicha mm -hmm. and the pumpkin pie spice. Same. Right? Yeah. No, this is good. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Mm. Like I thought the spice was going to be a little too strong, but it's not. Yeah, because you can still taste the hojicha, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mmm. Pretty successful. Mm. So now that we have like a pretty successful drink, I'm just gonna tweak it like here and there. That way I'll have like exact measurements and then I'll post it on my Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube shorts. So look out for this hojicha pumpkin recipe. <laughs> Hello everybody. <laughs> this is my Lego display. You may have noticed some changes. Why are you talking like that? Whatever, man. This is how I normally talk. No, it's yes. not. <laughs> anyway, notice that I've changed some things as I said earlier just a second ago. <laughs> hey, 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 pay attention. This is serious. Before, this used to be a battle scene. Yes. But as we're entering the holiday season, I am now in a more peaceful mood. Peaceful bird. That's right. Instead of angry bird. So what I got is I took out, this is actually, if you are an OG vlog viewer, mm -hmm. uh, you may remember we built this yes. in one of the earliest vlogs, right? Was it? Yeah, it was the very first Vlogmas. Right, so we took, I this, this set was in storage. I took it out and uh, yeah, I'm using it to display and uh, now we're making like kind of like a, you know, a winter Christmas vibe scene, snowball fight type thing. Nice! Want to point out some details here. Um, you got Stitch over here has four arms and he's holding four snowballs. A little unfair advantage, but you know. <laughs> you want uh, him on your team. Exactly. This is a snowman. It came with a set, so I didn't really do anything special with it, but it looks cool. Mm. Um, we got Baymax over here. He's, uh, he's throwing a snowball uh, in action. Uh, actually, uh, a little nerdy stuff. This is called N NPU, which is nice parts usage. Uh, he's holding a teacup. Kind of looked like a snowball that he's throwing. And uh, what we got over here? On this side, we got... Someone you know, got hit in the face. Yeah, someone got I thought hit. we are in Peaceful Bird. Yeah, you know, I mean, someone's got to get hit in a snowball fight, though. Okay. Uh, you got Miguel. He's also using the nice parts usage method, where it looks like he's holding a snowball. But it, it is, is a really uh, it's a teacup. And we got, uh, you know, Sorcerer Mickey. He has a oh, snow a bucket. It's a bucket. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah, Mulan's holding two snowballs as well. Ernesto de la Cruz. Yeah, he's just holding a guitar. And oh, no it. snow for no, him. No, no. <laughs> anyway, on this entire building, there's a bunch of snow that I tried to, to yeah. suggest through white pieces that I found in my, uh, my collection. It's like snowfall. Exactly. And then over here, if you zoom in, I don't know if you can see, but... Uh, that's actually an extra beard piece that I have. Yes, for it looks Santa. like a beard. From far away, it looked like snow, so oh. I consider that nice parts usage. Anyway, cool little display. So uh, I, I was thinking I want to make this like a reoccurring thing where I uh, change up, change the up scene. the vibe in my my little display case. And also, I don't know if you noticed, but there's no Sesame Street characters in this row, and that's because if you pan up, I've uh, oh. put them all into. <laughs> You know, into a car into cars because and Oscar, Oscar the Grouch, the Grouch. Exactly. <laughs> that's yeah, funny. funny that's basically all I got going on on this maybe I'll do like on this row I kind of put the Star Wars guys maybe if I get more Star Wars sets this is not from Star Wars this is a tank but uh maybe I'll, I'll put more Star Wars people over here anything could happen birds brainstorming so if you have any ideas leave them below that's right <laughs> oh and we must secure the cabinet with 
a rubber, rubber band, band because otherwise Ollie opens the That's cabinet. Right. <laughs> There's also one more Lego thing. Okay. This set, this architecture set, used to be in that display shelf. San Francisco. Yeah, exactly. And um, Snorlax in the back. Yeah, that, this is all the same, but I got Snoopy and Woodstock in a car and they're playing guitar. Kind of like a music video vibe. Oh, cute. Yeah. They're uh, playing tango, maybe. That's she my song. got me in tango. Oh my god, you hit this. <laughs> careful, get out of here. Hello vlog, it is the next day. We are starting out with lunch. We have some leftovers from Ka's Grill. And this is the chicken teriyaki bento. But I ate half of it and it makes like two meals. It's so big. And then we also have a tonkatsu sandwich. And this is leftover pumpkin spice cake from Trader Joe's that I showed you guys yesterday. I actually gave Kelly most of it to bring home because we are actually leaving today. We're going to SoCal. That's for right. our friend's wedding. Wedding time. Yeah, and we're also watching Love is Blind because it just came out. <laughs> eh. <laughs> okay, we're doing a nail reveal and Kelly's here as well. Okay, ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Oh, these are the guys from um... Spirited Away. Yeah. Wait, let me show you the other hand too. Oh Look, wow. there's a no face. These are so good. I know, they, she did so good. It? Yeah, she hand like did it. Whoa. I know, right? Artist. How yeah. do you even get the eyes? That's crazy. She did such a good job. It's perfect for Halloween. I know, spooky. <laughs> so the pinky and the thumbs are built black and then on the fourth finger and then the pointer finger here, we have the little suit suit sprites and then we have no face and then look at the detail on the drippy things. Yeah. So cool and even the no face, look at the Whoa. look at the detail like she is so precise. I want to look at these eyes like and the the sprites. You can see the pupils. You see that? Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to show it on camera, but you can kind of see it. Yeah. I can't believe those are hand painted. Yeah, she did such a good job. So if you guys are looking to get your nails done, definitely recommend Kat at Glamour Nail Salon. She always does a really good job. I've gone back to her like four times now because she's so good. <laughs> to the hotel so let's do a very quick hotel room tour because we are trying to go trying to go to disneyland to eat some dinner so right when we walk in to the right there's a closet with some hangers and then here we have the bathroom pretty nice big huge mirror with the vanity lights i like that and then we have the shower and toilet and then there's bird and then coming this way, we have microwave, safe, and look at this. It's a fellow kettle. Can you believe that? So fancy. I like wasn't sure if it was fellow, but then I lifted it up. Look, fellow. These are very nice kettles. And then this way, we have a full body mirror. And then we have the main bedroom. So we have two queens. We have a little artwork here. Very cute. Lamp. TV. Is this a mini fridge? Oh, wow. Look at this mini fridge design. <laughs> this hotel has a lot of these kind of quirky art, which is very cute. It gives it personality. We have like a seating area with an outlet extender, which we always appreciate. We got a chair and a lamp. And then the view is of the parking lot. Not really a view. You can't even see it in this video. <laughs> we are going to mole order some food, go to the park and eat, maybe even go on a ride. Right now it's 10 16. So we only are gonna have like an hour and a half in the park before it closes, but we are very excited. And Bird is 
cleaning his glasses? So I can see. Oh, good. Just like that, we're back like we never left. So I mobile ordered some food. We have the bulgogi toasted cheese sandwich with corn cheese soup and the Philly potato dog. These were both featured in my main channel, Halloween Disney food video. So I'll link that in the description if in case you haven't watched it. But Bird has not tried either of these things before, right? Yes. Yes. And we are hungry because it is almost 11 p.m. and this is our dinner. So which one are you more excited about? Try the dog. The dog, the Philly the potato dog. dog. So this hot dog is basically a baked potato cut in half. They put a hot dog in it and then they top it with all these Philly cheesesteak type toppings. So it has like bell peppers, sauteed onions, green onions, cheese, and the sliced beef. Cheers. Mm. 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 Wow, it's warming my belly. Just what you need on a cold night. Wow, it's warming my belly. Okay, bird. You're just gonna start copying all my food reviews now? No. All right, let's hear your original food review then. Wow, tastes like a potato. Ay, ay, ay. I wish they gave us more hot dog. More hot dog? I want three hot dogs in the middle. What? Balance. The oh, potato is huge. Yeah, the potato is really big. Pretty good though, I like the beef. Now moving on to the sandwich. Let's see if we can get a good pull or like a cross section. Ooh. Wow. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> Dip it in the corn cheese soup. Okay, you're yeah. the boss. Cheers. Cheers. I feel like last time mine had more beef though, good. but it's still good. Tasty. Mm. Which one do you like more? Both. You like both equally? I want both of them. Yeah, the trick is to split it and get both. But really, which one do you like more? Or do you just like both equally? I think I like this one more. You like this one more? But I wish there was some green onions in it or something. Or like, is there onions? There is onion, right? Grilled onion. Or like sauteed on you. You guys might be wondering why we are back in SoCal again. It's because our friends Jasmine and George are getting married tomorrow. So we're here for their wedding, just a very, very quick trip. And we figured we might as well come to Disney because we have passes and we're trying to, you know, get our money's worth out of our passes. And their wedding is like in the OC area, so. Might as well. Might as well. Let's see what the wait times are. I really want to ride Space Mountain because when we were here last time, it was closed. Mm. So we didn't get to ride it. And I heard that they fixed the lights in the beginning. You know how they were broken right. for a while? I heard they fixed it. It's 40 minutes right now. I think the strat is for us to do other stuff and then we'll do Space Mountain last. You think so? I think that's the strat. Unless everyone else is thinking that, then that's not the strat. <laughs> we can do Big Thunder, it's only 10 minutes. Okay. I know you wanted to do that one. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, we just got off Big Thunder Mountain and we got the last row just by coincidence. Like we didn't request it or anything, but I do remember seeing these like videos on Instagram and I think someone commented it too on the vlog. But if you sit in the last row and then in Big Thunder Mountain when there's the goat and you just look at the goat the whole time you're like coming around the curve, it feels like you're being flushed down the toilet. <laughs> And we did it, and it's true! Toilet vibes. <laughs> but it was really fun, right? Yes. That was cool. It was like trippy, but fun and cool. <laughs> I have hiccups. Oh yeah. We're not talking because he have hiccups. We're actually on our way because we mobile ordered a drink from Bengal Barbecue that we didn't even find out about until after we left Disneyland last time. So we put it on our list as a must get this time. And Bird is very excited. Uh, again, not talking because he's hiccuping. <laughs> anyway, we're picking up <laughs> the drink. We got our drink. It's a Thai tea slush with some kind of like cream on top, like maybe a cheese foam type deal. And there's honey boba as well. We brought our Mamey straws. Oh, in case you ever have hiccups, this is my hack. I always suck up a lot of air and I drink something immediately after. Okay. So like... Yeah, that works for me sometimes too. Good? That was not bad. Yeah? I'm cured. <laughs> Are you? No more hiccups? I'm cured. Wow. Look what Boba can do. 
It can cure hiccups. I'm gonna try this foam. Oh, yeah, it kind of has like a cream cheesy taste. Like cheese foam, but a little different. Yeah, interesting, okay. Mm, the boba texture is pretty good. The drink, it has a Thai tea flavor, but it also tastes like there's something else in there. It's very sweet, so I think give back to burn. The boba texture is like really good, actually. Because mm -hmm. at Disney, the boba texture is really like hit or miss. Sometimes it's like really bad, sometimes it's really good. I think this one is a really good batch. Pretty good batch. Yeah. I was gonna say, the drink itself is okay. The boba is good. Agree. Although maybe if we need to mix it. Oh, maybe we need to mix it. You're right. Help. Mix, mix, mix. mix. You want to mix it now. Mix, mix, mix. You want to mix it now. Hmm. We made it creamier. You can kind of taste like the cream cheese-ish flavor, no. flavor as well when you sip the drink. I mean, it still doesn't taste like Thai tea, like 100%, but it's just good. It's very sweet. What do you rate this? On a scale from 9 to 10, I'd probably give it a 10. On a scale from 9 to 10? Yeah. <laughs> it can only get one point? <laughs> it can either only be a 9 or only be a 10? It can either be give to bird or don't give to bird. <laughs> And this is Give to Bird. We're in the Emporium, and look, they already have Christmas stuff. Look at that. It's actually quite cute, this one. And they have this one as well, very cute. They only have a few, but they also have this Lizzie McGuire shirt. Look at that. This is my childhood, literally. And then Bird found a shirt that he's interested in. Show them. Wow, Mickey playing basketball. I know. He's slam dunking. That's right. Hey, this is a medium. <laughs> oh, what? Which, what, what size did you want? Oh, you want a large? I think it looks cool. It looks kind of big for you though. Like compared to the shirt you're wearing right now, it definitely looks bigger. Oh, okay. Cute. Football. football. But you don't watch football. I don't know. That's cool. Yeah, that one's cool too. Alright. Oh, both. <laughs> I mean, it is buy two for $25 each, but it's $30 if you only get one. So, it's a deal. Girl math. Bird math, more like. Bird math. <laughs> Until then, good night, and we wish you a safe and pleasant journey home. It is the next day. We are at Blossom Cafe and Market. This is actually just like a little cafe right next to the Westin. And we discovered this place when we came down here for VidCon a few months ago. And the food was pretty good when we had it. So we came back, Bird is gonna get some work done. Well, we're both gonna get some work done. And we ordered the same things we got last time because we like them so much. This is the spicy patty melt. Inside there's like grilled peppers and onions, patty, cheese, and it smells so good. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Good. Mm hmm Flavorful, juicy, cheesy, as you can see. And a little spicy. <coughs> Yesterday you have hiccups. I know. Now me. What's going on? You passed them to me. It's pretty good. It's really good. I will say it's a bit pricey. Yeah. It's like 16 bucks. Which I don't even remember it being that pricey last time. What do you think of the fries? They're pretty good. Yeah. They're very crispy. I really crispy. like the consist like the texture. Mm -hmm. Perfectly crispy, not too thick, fluffy potato on the inside. Then we also got the club. So there's like turkey, bacon, lettuce, tomato in there. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. I like how in their sandwiches, everything's like evenly layered. So in each bite, you get a little bit of everything. I even said that last time. Did I say that last mm -hmm. time? Oh my God, I didn't even remember. <laughs> this one was less expensive, it was 13. Still not, not cheap though. For well, what I like about this place. It's kind of an unassuming 
marketplace. That's true. It's like just this cute little spot. You wouldn't really think anything of it, but the food has been pretty good every time we've tried it. Compliments to the chef. <laughs> and then we also got a coffee. This is their seasonal drink. It's like for fall and it's called Cat's Spooky brew or something like yeah. that it has cold brew vanilla pumpkin cold foam and chocolate cookie pieces on top which I'm pretty sure it's oreo and it sounds really really good the thing is is that it was nine dollars yeah pretty steep that's pretty expensive but let's give it a stir It has a pumpkin flavor. The coffee could be stronger. Yeah. It's a little like watery ish. Yeah. I do actually remember last time when we came, the coffee wasn't that good. Really? The food was good, but the coffee wasn't that good. Mm. I don't think this is worth $9. We're ready for the wedding. We just got ready really quick in the hotel room and we are heading over now. Excited. Bert's like, let's have this at our wedding. Good morning vlog. It is the next morning. We just checked out of the hotel. We're waiting in the lobby right now for our Uber. We are gonna go eat lunch. Yeah, we had a lot of fun at Jasmine and George's wedding. It was very entertaining. Instead of their first dance, they did their first Mario Kart game. That was, I feel like that's almost more pressure. I think I would definitely lose. I'm yeah, not, you think so? Yeah, you're way better than me at Mario Kart. Significant. Maybe if it was a different game. Oh yeah, if it was a different game, then I think I have no chance. But Mario Kart, I think it could beat you. She's really. <laughs> uh, this is some like lore for you. She's really good at Mario Kart. Like, you know how there's three. What what are the course the, the stars. three stars yeah. or whatever. She has like number one on. Well, I got three stars in like every course yeah, she and got like almost every speed. I think. Crazy. I think I'm still working on 200 CC technically. I have like maybe two more courses. You love in to that. go fast. <laughs> I drive slow. Oh, he does actually drive slow in real life. <laughs> Safe. Anyway, we're gonna go eat lunch. Lunch. For lunch, we're at Menya Hanabi. This is their second location in SoCal. Their first location was in Arcadia, and I've been there a few times, and it's always really, really good. So I'm excited that they opened one in Irvine. And so first, I have this Mentaiko Maze Soba. I think this is like a new item that they have, and I've never had this one. So I'm very excited. It has like the spicy cod roe, which is the Mentaiko. It also has masago, seaweed, green onion, some mixed greens, and this poached egg. It's so jiggly. I love the jiggle. Let's give this a good mix. Oh, 
look at that egg. Perfectly runny. Oh, look, it's creamy. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's like, it's basically like mentaiko pasta. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Cheers. Mm. It's like a pasta, like a creamy pasta. And the noodle texture is so chewy. Well, that's really good. And then this one is the one I usually get. It's the deluxe maze soba. It has chashu, minced pork, nori, green onion, garlic, even a, like a ramen egg and a poached egg. Just a signature jiggly poached egg. I love it. Oh. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's perfectly runny. They always do such a good job with the poached eggs. This bowl has like literally everything that you could want. Just make sure to mix it real good. Get everything coating the noodles. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so flavorful. And the noodles, perfectly chewy too. Like I mentioned before, I've been to the Arcadia one a few times, but Bird has never been. So I really wanted to take him here. And it was just perfect that they opened in Irvine too. Perfectly jammy marinated egg. Which one do you like more? That one. You like this one more? Okay, let's switch. I like both. I feel like they're so different that it's hard to like compare them. Compare them, yeah. Okay, we just went to Hey Tea. They opened recently in SoCal, but they're originally from Asia and they're supposedly the inventors of cheese foam, I think. But anyway, I got this creamy cheese crisp grape drink and it's basically like a grape slushy with cheese foam on top. And this was $10, $9.99. So definitely quite pricey. I'm gonna give it a shake. Shake, shake, shake. You want to shake it now? Mmm, it is good. I like the slushy consistency. It has a nice fresh grape flavor and the cheese foam pairs really well with it because it makes it like creamy. I like it. Bird, you try. All right, bird turn. Oh look, they're hugging. Cute. Hmm, anyway. <laughs> tasty. Yeah? It doesn't remind me of like, like a grape thing. Oh, like oh. it doesn't taste like artificial grape at all. It tastes like like fresh grape, which yeah. is nice. It kind of reminds me of like a creamy cheese crisp grape drink. Okay. You're just reading the name of the drink. Shall I try the other yes. one? Yes. Then this is what Bird ordered. It's a uh, green cheese tea. Cheese green tea original. Oh, cheese green tea original. Ready? Yeah. I'm not mad at it, but I'm not in love with it. Really? Like not better than Happy Lemon? It's not sweet. Bird, you have your cheese mustache. It's not sweet enough. It's not sweet enough? Let really? Hmm. I like it. I think it's good. It's not as sweet as Happy Lemon, so yeah, that's probably why you don't like it. But I like it. I think it's good. Not sweet. Your stupid cheese mustache is still there. <laughs> Ice Pumpkin VTM, which stands for Vietnamese Coffee, Ein Spanner. Oh, oh, whoa, it's really sweet. Perfect. Bird will like sweet, pumpkin-y. It does have a, that kind of like Vietnamese coffee flavor, but I guess usually Vietnamese coffee is stronger. But it's still pretty good. The coffee flavor is still strong, it's just not as strong as like normal Vietnamese ice coffee. Yum. Okay, bird turn. Pumpkin. It's sweet, right? Mm. This one is sweet. I drink all of it. Give to bird. Bye. Oh, okay. <laughs>
All right, we're gonna end the vlog here. I'm talking really quiet because Bert's sleeping, but I did want to quickly sign off the vlog. So if you made it this far, comment below butternut squash mac and cheese, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!